spread the word of his Oh, fortune one Paradise must be one Paradise must be one Each day and each night Through darkness and through light Cry it out to the world Spread the word Spread the word of Islam Without peace, we cannot progress it's so difficult for any country to develop. Not only you have peace here, you have peace here and peace hereafter. Not only you're successful here, but you also become successful in the hereafter. This is what Islam promised us. That's why we say peace and prosperity. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate, I send salams on Allah's last and final prophet, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, on his family, his companions, and those who follow righteous guidance until the end of time. I will be your host today for this, the fourth day of the 2008 Chennai Peace Conference, hosted by. Peace, Vision of Islam. At this time, I would like to call to the stage our first speaker and presenter for the day. Coming here to us from Malaysia, Sheikh Hussein Yi. Sheikh Hussein Yi, could you please come to the stage, inshallah. Before our speaker begins, let me give you a little bit of his background. Sheikh Hussein Yi is born from a Chinese Buddhist family. He reverted to Islam in 1968. In 1972 or 1978, he studied in the Islamic University in Medina, Saudi Arabia. Thereafter, he left and studied in Damascus University in Syria until 1980. In 1981, he served as an advisor to the Cambodian Muslim refugees in Paris from 1984 to 1985, he was the director in the Islamic Center of Hong Kong, China. From the 80s until 1994, he was also a counselor in Perkim, Malaysia. In 1994, till today, he has been the founder and the president of al Qadim Association for Dawah and for taking care of orphans and single parent families being organizing dawa and ibadah camps for youth around the southeast asia pacific area london usa canada and the middle east and again al qadim association for dawa and taking care of the single parent families at this time i will call to the microphone to begin his lecture on peace and prosperity Islam's goal for humanity. Our speaker for the day, Sheikh Hussein Yi. Brother. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Inna alhamdulillahi nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh. Wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa sayyiati a'malina. Min yahdihillahu fala mudillalah. وَمَنْ يُطْلِلْ فَلَا حَادِيَ لَا وَأَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا أَبَدُهُ وَرَسُولُهُ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اتَّقُوا اللَّهَ حَقَّ تُقَاتِهِ وَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء 
ഹദീസ്ഹ വരഹമത്ത All praise due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the creator of all things and the sender of all prophets and messengers and the revealer of all truth. We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on all the bounties that he has bestowed upon us. We thank him. We ask Allah to forgive the sin that we have committed whether it is a minor or a major one. Whether it is and open or a secret sins and we ask Allah to forgive the sin of those who are present today and those who are absent among us the living among us and those who have passed away among us we ask Allah to forgive the sin of the young and the old among us the male and the females and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us and to give us peace in this world and peace in the hereafter amen to my beloved brother our chairperson brother isa from california and to all the organizing committee of peace vision of islam on the behalf of our organization al khadim stand for serving mankind back in malaysia we would like to thank all of you and also we like to thank the organizing committee for allowing us to come and meet the brother and sister in chennai and to share with you the important topic about islam there is peace and prosperity and islam is a goal of humanity now before i proceed i would like to remind myself and all the fellow brothers and sisters who are with us being a muslim we should be proud to exercise the islamic values the islamic ethics the islamic way of greeting now this lecture have been opened by brother isa by offering the islamic greeting of peace assalamu alaikum but the response from the brother and sister is not that good allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the quran وَإِذَا حُيِّتُمْ بِتَحِيَّةٍ فَحَيُّ بِأَحْسَنَ مِنْهَا أَرْضُهَا إِلَى الْآخِرِ آيَةٍ The meaning of this saying of Allah is If any Muslim offer you the Islamic greeting You as fellow Muslim, male and female Should respond with a better greeting How do you respond? So the Prophet show us and guide us He said If anyone come and give you the offering of assalamu alaikum then you should say wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah that means your response should be longer than the one who offer you if the second person comes and give you the salam assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah your response should be wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh If the third person come and give you salam alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh the complete salam then you should respond with a louder voice by saying wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh example inshallah i'm going to offer you the second salam so that those who are present today is able to exercise this sunnah of the prophet to practice what the prophet have taught us because islam is not just knowledge but knowledge with action 
So inshallah brothers and sisters I'm going to offer you the greeting of peace from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh Alhamdulillah Now why I want you to respond to this call and prayer and salam of peace because the topic that we are discussing this morning about peace and prosperity if anybody want to be successful as a human as a father as a husband as a businessman as a leader he must have peace within himself without peace we cannot progress without peace is so difficult for any country to develop only through peace then you can start to progress yeah, better and better inshallah now when you talk about Islam we are talking about the true peace the true peace that come from Almighty Allah not from us it's from Allah because peace belong to Allah it don't belong to you don't belong to me it belong to Allah the Creator the one who created every one of us because he said huwa salam Allahumma anta salam wa minka salam the Prophet remind us say that oh Allah you are peace and peace belong to you and peace come from you now that is why all the Prophet was sent to bring peace not to create war not to kill to destroy but to save and to develop not to do anything bad but to invite every one of us to become a better person the word Islam have three great meaning number one mean total submission to Almighty Allah the Creator everybody who want to have peace with himself he must have a good relationship with Allah first without that kind of relationship you cannot have peace you can try to look for peace but the peace that you look for will not be permanent when you submit to Allah physically mentally and spiritually then you will achieve peace that's why Islam means total submission you must submit to the Almighty who is peace and the peace belong to him and peace come from him and that's why Islam also stand for peace number one Islam mean total submission number two Islam also mean peace salam that is why in the world today the only nation the only people who greet human with the greeting of peace is a Muslim everywhere you go whether he's an Arab a non-Arab whether he's a white or colored when they are Muslim they will greet everyone with the greeting of assalamu alaikum peace be upon you this greeting do not come from the Buddhists neither the Hindus neither the Christian only the Muslim use this greeting of peace because we are the peacemaker people may say the Muslim are terrorists but there's nothing to do with what they say in reality only Muslim bring peace to everybody because only Muslim will greet people with the greeting of peace assalamu alaikum Islam also means security if you follow the teaching of Islam you submit to Allah you submit to the divine law of Allah not man-made law but the divine law 
then Allah promise you security in this life here now and hereafter not only you are safe here not only you have peace here you have peace here and peace hereafter not only you become successful here but you also become successful in the hereafter this is what Islam promised us that's why we said peace and prosperity you want to be successful you want to progress you got to have peace within yourself and that's why the Muslim was invited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by his messenger peace be upon him to have faith in Allah first because Allah said Duribat alayhimul zillatu ayna ma thuqifu illa bi hablim min Allah wa hablim min nas now what Allah is telling us none of us can be successful none of us can call ourselves that we are great people until you have a good relationship with Allah the Almighty God who have created you for a purpose to know him to love him and to serve him if you don't do that that means you have no peace when you have no peace you cannot bring peace to others you have no peace with your family you have no peace with your neighbor you have no peace with your countrymen you have no peace to the environment you become very destructive why because by nature Allah give us the nafs when he created us he give us the desire and majority of our desire is inclined to destruction it's not the constructive is more on destructive desire we call nafsul ammara bisu the destructive desire thinking of yourself you don't think of others but islam come and teach you that you must have a good relationship with the creator now how important for you to know who is your parent that is how important you should know who created you when you have peace with Allah you are sure to have peace with yourself and then you can bring peace to fellow mankind that's why Allah said duribat alayhimul zillatu aynama tuqifu meaning Allah is telling us that the curse of Allah Allah will humiliate us we will not be honored until we have a good relationship with Allah and then with fellow mankind after you have a good relation with Allah you must have a good relationship between fellow mankind start with your own family now that is why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi alayhi wasallam remind us by saying la tadkhulun al jannah hatta tu'minu the prophet is reminding us none of us whether you are white or colored rich or poor arab or non arabs none of us can enter the paradise that belong to allah until he believe in him until he believe in Allah and then the Prophet continue wala tu'minu hatta tahabu none of you can be a true believer none of you can be a true believer until he love each other he have peace with each other this is very important to understand the saying of our prophets the prophet for all mankind all nation and tribe the early prophet was sent by Allah for a particular tribes and nation but prophet Muhammad 
Allah si wa ma arsalna ka illa rahmatan lil alamin. O Muhammad, we do not send you except to bring peace, mercy, blessing, rahmah to the universe, to everybody. That's why Muhammad is not a prophet that bring peace only to the Arabs. But to Arabs, non-Arabs, to Indian, Chinese, Malay, to every one of us. Because that is the message of peace. The Prophet said, none of us can enter paradise because paradise is a world of peace. There is no hatred. There is no fighting. No jealousy. No anger in paradise. Paradise is a place of peace. And if anyone wants to go to paradise, he must find peace here first. And peace comes from Iman. You must have Iman first. You must have faith in Allah. And Iman is the only thing that Allah and the Prophet said that will qualify you to achieve peace in this world and peace in the hereafter. It's important for us to understand that. And the Prophet ﷺ continued by saying, Allah or awala adlukum ala shay'in iza fa'altum tahabbaktum. The Prophet asked his people, Do you like me to teach you, to show you something? That when you do it, you will create love. You will develop love. There will be peace among you. When you have peace, you can keep on progressing, brothers and sisters. If there's a lot of demonstration, unrest in India, do you think the government have time to develop this country? They have no time. A lot of time will spend in taking care of the security of the nation. But when there's a lot of peace, all your time can be focused in how to develop this country to make it a better place for all of us to live on. A cleaner place, a more hygienic environment. Only you will progress when you have peace. So the Prophet said, Do you like me to show you something? When you do it, you will develop love and peace among you. The companions of the Prophet is not like you and like me. They always want to hear something from Prophet Muhammad. Every time when they are free, they will come to Prophet, they will go to the Prophet and say, Ya Rasulullah, tell us what should we do. Tell us, how can we become a better Muslim? How can we be beneficial to ourselves and to others? This is what the companion of the Prophet always asks. They are not talking about themselves. They don't come to the Prophet and say, Oh Prophet, teach me how to become a rich man. Teach me how to become a politician. No. They just want, Oh Prophet Muhammad, how can we do something that Allah is happy with us? This is what they want. They want Allah's pleasure. They want Allah's reba. They want Allah's love. The important thing is Allah's love. So the Prophet said, if you do this, you will bring peace. And you will have love among you. When you love each other, there's no more hatred. There's no more jealousy, no more enviness, and there's no more war. They will have peace. Spread the word, oh man Spread the word of Islam Oh fortunate one Paradise must be won Paradise must be won Each day and each night Through darkness and through light Cry it out to the world